just a few minutes ago, I looked like this. Inger Ostrom is my go-to gal, and she's here for you, too. In gets those Hollywood hotties red carpet ready for the Emmys and Entertainment Tonight. She's got the makeup tips to turn your looks from sleepless to sassy. Okay, and what foundation works best? If you have beautiful, clear skin, then a tinted moisturizer is a wonderful option. A normal liquid foundation gives beautiful coverage, not too heavy, and a lot of them have SPF, which is great. Now, if you want more coverage, maybe you have trouble skin, then going with a cream foundation is the way to go. What about dark circles? What do we do to hide them? It is difficult, you know, especially new moms and being up all night. It does create those dark circles. Concealers have evolved tremendously over the years. We now have more like an illuminator, which is great because our focus is the eyes. You really want the eyes to pop. That's where the focus needs to be. I love the illuminators. And then if you have more darkness underneath, you can go in with more of the traditional kind of concealer to sort of spot treat those. Eyeshadow or eyeliner, if you have to choose, what do you do? All right, if you have to choose one, you're gonna get more definition with the eyeliner. Okay. All right, but if you have a few more seconds to spare, then I would suggest using like an eyeshadow primer uh, they make a whole bunch of different ones that have some really pretty colors, so you can, you know, change it up a little bit. But again, like, I, I do this in the morning just with my finger. I just am able to put it on in seconds. And this is a cream, so you can just swipe it right over. It's just going to give you a little more definition. This is a pretty color. It's got a little bit of shimmer in it. And now we want to really define the eyes. We're going to go in with an eyeliner. If you're moving quick, get go for the black or the brown. Go for the black or the brown. Okay. So, and with eyeliner, you're coming in right along the lash line. Just very carefully. Now, your line is going to be a little thicker to the outside by the outside corner, and it's going to get a little thinner as you go in. Now, mascara, it really frames our eyes, mm -hmm. but what tricks are there to apply it? The trick with mascara is you want to get it very close at the base. And you can kind of wiggle the brush and bring it up and just keep working it and layering it. You know, a lot of makeup is just about layering. And then do you do it on the top and the bottom? Top and bottom. Okay. What about blushes? Which are better, powders or creams? I prefer powders. I think there's more control and I think it's a little easier and what I like to do is ask my client to smile. Give me that big smile. And then as you can see, the apple of the cheek is right there. So then you're going in and adding that color in. If I have time for only one lipstick or a lip gloss, what do I do? I love just the tinted glosses. There's so many pretty colors that you can choose from. The color looks very intense. Don't be afraid of it, it's very sheer. When we're talking about speed, getting out the door, this is the easiest way. It's just such a pretty, pretty look. Thank you, Ing, that was fast and easy. Do you have a quick beauty trick to share? Upload your videos to our comment section below. And for more fitness and beauty tricks, subscribe to LifeScript TV or visit lifescript.com.